Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand partition algorithm in Quicksort. The concept, the working mechanism of Quicksort has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have a better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we will try to understand partition algorithm in Quicksort. In our previous video, where we have explained the uh, 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 quicksort working mechanism there we have taken there we have taken the uh, a pivot element and based upon that pivot element we have converted it into so we have we have identified its position and uh, based upon that we have divided this entire in array into two pieces so detailed explanation has been made in our previous video in this video we will try to understand how the algorithm of partition will be so we will take one uh, we will take uh, uh, we will Will take one pivot element and on that pivot element we will try to find its position so after finding its position what are what is that how that array will look like all the elements on the left hand side of it will be less than or equal to the pivot element and all the elements which are uh, uh, to the right hand side of it is going to be the, uh, uh, the those elements are going to be greater than or equal to the pivot element now what is the pivot element that we are going to take we are going to take the last element so this is the this is this is the element that we are going to consider it as a pivot element and we are going to identify the position for this pivot element means it will get into the it will get arranged into the sorted order okay so let's try to do that so here uh, the value of p is 0 and the value of r is 7 the starting index and the ending index of that uh, uh, array so it is 0 and 7 8 elements are there now x is equal to here the value of x is equal to a of r which is 4 means this is the pivot element so for this element we are going to identify its position okay if you arrange these elements in the sorted order it is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the 4 will be uh, in this position so the pivot element which is located at the end of the array will be moved to the to its position means here it will get moved into this position so how that happens that we will try to understand and one more point is all the elements to the left of it is going to be smaller than or equal to and all the elements to the right of it are going to be greater than or equal to okay now what is the value of i i is equal to p minus 1 here the value of p is 0 so it is going to be minus 1 and for j is equal to p to r minus 1 means from 0 to 6 7 minus 1 so from here to here this loop is going to iterate why not this one because this is considered as the pivot element so we are going to find the position for that okay now this is the logic of this entire algorithm so in this single line the entire logic of the pivot element will lie in okay just try to understand that logic in a detailed way here a of j what is the value of j so we'll take the value of uh, so here j is equal to 0 we are going to start from j is equal to 0 and i is equal to minus 1 now this iteration this is going to iterate for 6 times and here a of j means a of 0 to less than or equal to x x means it is pivot element so is it true yes it is true if it is true what we have to do is exchange a of i and a of j okay and we have to increment the value of i if it is true first we have to increment the value of i then we have to exchange a of a of i and a of j here if you increment the value of i minus 1 it will become 0 now we here i is here and j is also at 0 so what we have to do we have to exchange this element with itself okay so it will remain in its position here how the exchange means here the swapping algorithm or swapping code will be there so it will remain in its position so the next step when the value of j is equal to 1 here the value of j will become 1 now a of j less than or equal to x what is the value of 
सॉरी दिस इज आई i remains 0 and the value of j is equal to 1 now a of j less than or equal to x a of j means here 8 8 less than or equal to x means it is pivot element is it true no it is not true if it is not true again the loop will get iterated and the value of j is equal to 2 so what is that we are going to understand is if any of the element is greater than the pivot element greater than the pivot element then there are no exchanges what happens so try to get that point here 2 is less than 4 then exchange has happened here 8 is greater than 4 exchange has not been happened so what happens what is that this algorithm is behaving how this algorithm is behaving is lies in this point so we'll try to understand slowly okay so in the next iteration the value of j is equal to 3 so when the value of j is equal to g a of j a of j means sorry uh, here it is uh, 1 is done uh, value of j is equal to 2 here 7 less than or equal to 4 is it true no it is not true then again the iteration the value of j is equal to 3 1 less than or equal to 4 is it true yes it is true now now this is the point you have to understand this is where you you will get the complete clarity about the partition algorithm so here what happens whenever this is true see here i is equal to i plus one so what is the value of i i is there in zero so j has been moved to this position j has been moved to this position i is still at zero now we have to increment the value of i what is the value of i now if you increment the value of i it is 1 now what happens we have to exchange i a of i with a of j a of i with a of j so what should we do this two are to be swapped so this one is going to be 1 and this one is going to be 8 so what happened here so what happened here is all the elements see here the exchange of 1 has been done all the elements which are less than 4 are shifting to the left hand side and all the elements which are greater than 4 are shifting to the right hand side and the pivot element is going to find its position try to get that point so this is what the beauty of uh, uh, the partition algorithm okay so now here again the iteration has to be done the value of j is been incremented it is 4 3 less than or equal to 4 is it true yes it is true so because it is true again the value of i has to be incremented the value of i is 2 means this is the value which needs to be see here so this is the value which needs to be exchanged with 3 so now so let's erase uh, these values so that uh, you will clearly understand okay now 7 and 3 has to be exchanged so the point that you have to understand is all the values which are less than 4 are shifting to the left hand side and greater than 4 are shifting to the right hand side of the pivot element pivot element value is 4 because 3 is less than 4 so it is getting shifted to the left hand side okay so let's uh, first we will erase these two and uh, we will shift them okay so 3 will be shifted here and 7 will get shifted here next the value of i is equal to 5 now uh, sorry j is equal to 5 so 5 uh, is 5 less than or equal to 4 no it is not so leave it 6 6 less than or equal to 4 is it true no it is not so it is going to iterate from 0 to 6 so all the iterations are done and at last what we have to do see here i value is here at 2 i value is the index 2 now a of i plus 1 i plus 1 means 2 plus 1 which is 3 a of 3 is exchanged with a of r a of r means this one 4 a of r means it is 7 okay r is equal to 7 right so a of r so these two will get exchanged so the element which is greater than 4 so this is exchanged with this 4 okay so here what happens is 4 will be here and 8 will come here okay let's exchange them erase them okay so uh, 4 will be shifted here and 
8 will be shifted here now what we have to return return i plus 1 what is the value of i it is 2 i plus 1 means 3 so this is the index of the pivot element this is the index of the pivot element so based upon that pivot element the division will happen so there is another part for the quick sort which we have seen in our previous video so in that quick sort algorithm so that is the part where the division is done this is the part where the sorting is done similar to that of merge sort merge and merge sort which we have already discussed okay so now uh, uh, so based upon the the index of this pivot element so what is the index of the pivot element which is 3 now this array will be divided into two halves this half has one part and this half has another part and on this sub array again the partition algorithm is done so what happens is not physically again i am saying this so it is not done physically it is done logically logically in this in the sense only this part of the array will be considered only this part of the array will get considered okay so here this part is going to be okay so uh, the first half is going to be 2 1 3 and the other half is going to be uh, it is 7 5 6 8 or the elements now on this again the partition algorithm is applied so this is going to be the pivot element and we are going to find the position of this so which we have already discussed in the previous video so but we haven't discussed about the partition algorithm which we are going to discuss uh, which we have already discussed in this class so this is how the partition algorithm is going to find the position of the pivot element and based upon that the division is going to happen okay so this is all about partition algorithm in quick sort hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching